Hi everyone, welcome to this booty training using weights and a resistance band. So we have two things of torture. I'm going to use a 10 kilogram dumbbell, which is going to be quite heavy. If you don't have any dumbbells at home, you can fill up a bag with anything that you can find in your kitchen, bags of rice, oats, any kind of heavy grains, etc., and use that instead. If you don't have a resistance band, that's totally fine. You can just skip it and do the workout without it. You will also need a towel in the end so we can make it softer when we put the dumbbell on our hip. We are starting with a short glute activation with the booty band around our thigh. So if you have one, put it right above your knee. Let's go, start the timer, Dennis. Okay. We are starting with wide glute bridges. So put your feet wide apart and then press your knees to the outside and press your hip upward to the ceiling. Squeeze your booty on the way up. Hold the tension on the way down. You know the game. Try to think about your booty doing all the work and try to squeeze it as hard as possible for the following three minutes. Weight is on the heels only. Stay over there and we do tiny pulses at the top. Really use the booty activation in the beginning to start building the tension in your glute muscles so we can feel them better when we are doing squats afterwards. Tiny pulses at the very top, hold it up there and we are doing an abductor movement meaning we push the knees even more to the outside, squeeze the side part of the booty and bring the knees in again. Hold it at the very top, don't lower your hip down to the floor, squeezing the side parts of the booty and squeeze them. Okay, and now you push your knees to the outside so you are staying in the engaged position. Side part is squeezed, middle part of the booty is squeezed. Bring your hip up as high as you can and just hold it there. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Two, one, 30 seconds of break. I know we are not used to that. So get rid of the booty band for the next five minutes or so. We're gonna stand up, come into a squat position. Take your weight or whatever you have. We are starting with a normal squat. So your feet are not too wide apart like in the normal stance. Ah. <laughs> Starting with squats. Make sure you sit down low. Weight is on the heels. Feel slow and controlled. Squeeze your booty on the way up. Squeeze it very hard at the very top. And then roll it down. Three. Two, one. Staying down low in squat pose. If it's getting too heavy, just drop the weight. Make sure your back is straight and you keep the tension in the glutes. Can you make it with the weight? Only oh, you know if Yay. Bring your feet wider apart into a sumo position and we are starting with sumo squats. Why my circuits, but you 
you're staying down low, sumo squat pulses. Make sure your weight is on your heel so you can really feel the booty. Sit back as hard as you can. And if it's getting too heavy, drop the weight and continue without it. And then in three, two, one, jump squat. Okay, stand on one foot only and we are starting with a side lift. Try to think about your side booty. And we switch sides. Okay, taking back the weight, we are going into deadlifts. Make sure that your back is straight. We're doing a stiff deadlift, meaning you have a slight bend in your knees, but you basically keep them straight the entire movement. Move your hip backwards on the way down. Squeeze your booty to the front when you come up. Take the weight in front of your chest and we do a good morning. Basically the same movement, but a little more focus on the upper body. Focus on squeezing the booty to the front. Very good. We're going into a deadlift and a squat. So you combine both movements. Make sure to move your hips backwards for the deadlift. So you really engage the hamstrings and don't only do it with the strength of your back. Okay, put down the weight. <laughs> no, let's do squat pulses. I was thinking about doing jump squats. But let's do squat pulses and really focus on keeping the tension in the booty. Make sure you sit back. Tiny pulses. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we relax. 30 seconds of break. Put the booty band around your thighs. So right above your knees. First one is going to be a fire hydrant. So you are down here. You lift your knee and your leg to the outside, squeezing the booty. I can always feel it very well in the other butt cheek. And 
and we go into little pulses at the very top. So you only stay at the top of the movement. And for the last 15 seconds, we're just gonna hold it at the very top. Hold it, hold it, hold it as high as you can. If you feel like you're lowering down your leg, bring it up higher again. And we do the other side. Start with very concentrated lifts. Very good, squeeze the side part. And then we are going into pulses in a second. Tiny pulses at the very top. Lift your knee as high as you can and pulse it. And now we're gonna hold it for 15 seconds. Hold it as high as you can, even a tiny bit higher. Squeeze the booty, brace the burn. Three, two, one. Very good. Let's stand up for a weighted squat once again. Three, two, one. Drop your weight. We're going into a side squat walk. Stay down low, as low as you can. Two, one. We stay down low and we do an abductor movement. Down to the floor. Let's go into side leg lifts like this. Lift and try to squeeze the side part of your booty. Three, two, one. Tiny pulses at the very top, please. Very good. Three, two, one. And we hold it. Hold it as high as you can. Squeeze your booty to the front and the leg up. So again, we are working the side part of the booty as well as everything else. <laughs> also the side part of our thigh. Hold it up as high as you can. Hold it. Three, two, one. Only switching sides, doing the same thing on the other side.
Yeah, I know. My shoelaces are open. But I cannot reach them. <laughs> uh, make it burn, tiny pulses, guys. Don't lower your leg down. Not allowed to stop yet. Three, two, one, and we hold it. Ooh, hold it as high as you can. Hold it up, hold it up. You can make it. Hold it. 50 more seconds. I don't know why the right side is so much harder than the left one for me. Oof. Hold it up. Don't lower it down. A little more up. Three, two, one. And we stand up. I'm quickly gonna. No, I'm not. I don't wanna waste any time. Okay, stiff deadlifts are next. Make sure you squeeze your booty at the top. Keep your back straight. Spine is neutral. You look down at the lower point, you look up at the upper point. Squeeze the booty. Take the weight in front of your chest. Good morning. Good afternoon, good night, whatever time it is. <laughs> Just make sure, squeeze your booty and keep the weight, and keep the back straight. Very good. Couple more seconds. And we go from a good morning into a squat. Good morning. Squat down low. Good morning. And we squat. Guys, should we do one more round of weighted squats? I am ready. Let's add two tiny, three tiny pulses at the bottom. One, two, three, and up. 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 We drop the weight and we go into a jump squat. One last time. One. Maybe with an abductor. break because we are going down to the floor take the towel and put it onto what, onto your hip so you have like a little cushion over here and then we are adding the weight onto our hip for a glute bridge burnout three two one Normal glute bridges. Make sure that you squeeze your booty and really focus on it. Don't just suffer through the last couple of minutes. Really make them count. Make every single rep of glute bridges a good one. 
Move out your hip into wide glute bridge pulses. And move down, move up. I cannot talk anymore. Move out your feet, not your hip. And wide glute bridges, full range of motion. Stay at the top, hold it as high as you can, still in a wide foot stance. So you have to push your knees outwards. Hold it at the very top, make it burn. Three, two, one. Let's do one more set of pulses. Still in a wide position, so my knees are slightly pushing outwards. Pulse it halfway through. Focus on your booty burn. Three, three, two, one. Don't lower down your hip, keep it up. Just throw away your weight and keep it at the very top for another hold. Keep it up. We're gonna hold for one minute straight. Thirty more seconds of holding it as high as you can. Hold it up. If you feel like it's easy, hold it up higher. Squeeze your booty, tuck your pelvis under. Really make those last couple of seconds count. Make it burn. slowly release yay that was everything for today Dennis stop the timer I hope you enjoyed today's workout I hope your booty is burning I think that was a little more than 20 minutes maybe 21 but our booty will thank us I hope you enjoyed it let me know how you liked it in the comments below and otherwise, we will see each other in the next video.